One day, after Donald's tender was mended, he was carefully pulling the breakdown train. So Top of Hat's going to send me away, said Donald sadly. It's not fair! It's not fair! Donald knew he had to rescue Henry. Donald knew he had to be braver than ever. At last, Donald could see the train ahead. So Donald stopped, and he was just about to move when he heard a voice. Help! said a voice. No sake, said Donald. It's Henry! Don't worry yourself, Henry. Wait a while. We'll get you out. Henry was pleased. He could see that all was not well. The twins were looking sad. It's a shame, said Percy. A lot of nonsense about a broken signal box, said Gordon. That spiteful troublesome trucks too, put in James. Good riddance, that's what I say. The twins were splendid in the snow, said Henry. It isn't fair. They all agreed that something must be done, but none knew what. Soon, Percy arrived at Edward Station. What's going on, Percy? asked Edward. You know, said Percy, the big engines say that Donald and Douglas are sent away in disgrace. Please don't let that happen. I won't, said Edward proudly. Now, Percy, tell the engines what not to do. At last, Percy arrived at the sheds. Edward says, he said, that we need a depot station. Of course, said Gordon. The question is, what's a desperation? asked Henry. It's when you tell Sir Topham Hatt that something's wrong, said Percy. Did you say tell Sir Topham Hatt? asked Doc thoughtfully, but there was a long silence. I propose, said Gordon, that Percy be our disputation. Me, squeaked Percy, I can't. Rubbish, Percy, it's easy, said Henry. So Percy went off to the station to tell Sir Topham Hatt. At last, Percy arrived at the yards. What's wrong, Percy? asked Sir Topham Hatt. Sir, Percy said sadly. They'll be turned into scrap, sir. Please, sir, don't send them away. Don't worry, said Sir Topham Hatt. That would never happen on my railway. Percy was glad. Let's go to the sheds, said Percy happily. Percy was very proud that Donald and Douglas would never be sent away. At last, Percy arrived at the sheds. Sir Topham Hatt had news for the Scottish twin engines. Well done, Donald and Douglas, said Sir Topham Hatt. Your work on the railway's been good. Thank you, sir, said Donald and Douglas to each other. As you know, said Sir Topham Hatt, you two will have a new coat of paint. Oh, does this mean the both of us? asked the twins. Sir Topham Hatt pondered. But the rest of the speech was drowned by a chorus of cheers of the engine's whistles. The twins were here to stay.